the bounty has been increased. If you kill my hardcore Iron Man, which is limited to PvP worlds, you will receive 250 mil. But then again, don't waste your time looking for me if you're not 100% sure that I am logged in. I might be on the toilet, I might be at work, I might just be watching Netflix, who knows. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. We made 161k from that trip, but sadly no Dragon Warhammer. If you look at my gear, I'm still rocking the Mithril gloves. It's time to upgrade. Golem quest completed. Oh, and that is Shadow of the Storm completed. Didn't even get a notification. And that's Family Crest quest completed. Okay, I'm so lucky. There's just one. <gasps> There's no one here. Edge is such a hotspot for PKs. No one's here. So I gotta do this really quick. This took such a long time, but Evil Dave is now free and I can finally purchase myself Addy gloves. And that is Shiloh Village completed. And that's Shield of Arrow quest completed. And that's Shield of Arrow quest completed on two accounts. This ancient staff is going to be very useful very soon, so I bought myself one. The next quest on the list is Hero's Quest. And for this quest, I need level 50 mining, 53 fishing, and 53 cooking, which equals to a total of 24 levels. So I'll be back to you when I get all these level requirements. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a fight! There's a fight going on right here. Hello! <laughs> and there it is! 53 fishing. The first out of three requirements have now been completed. It took ourselves 4 hours and 3 minutes. And that's 53 cooking. Now we only need 50 mining left. There we go, 50 mining. It took ourselves two hours and 26 minutes. Let's go. The thing is, my main account is Black Arm Gang. This account is Black Arm Gang. I need someone in Phoenix Gang. And the only person I can trust right now is Shawnee. Oh my god, this is Poggers. His Cirque account is Phoenix Gang. Let's go. But can I really trust him though? I'm putting my Protect from Mila on just in case. <laughs> Look at his gear. He just ballisted me! Oh, here they come again. Hooli gang! Let's get out of here. And that is Hero's Quest completed. There it is, the Dragon Battle Axe. Very nice weapon. And for Legends Quest, I need 52 mining and 50 smithing. 44 smithing, and that's 45. 46. And there it is, Dwarf Cannon completed. Now I can make cannonballs. Oh my god, I just realized I did all these gold ores without goldsmith gauntlets. Fuck. 47 smithing. Currently out of steel bars, but I do have crystal keys which I can get more coals from to make more steel bars with. Here we go. No coals? Never lucky. I can get coals from Lissom and Shamans and also the possibility to get the Dragon Warhammer. And that's 84 hit points. First trip, we made 98k and 20 coals. <gasps> oh, hello! Sadly, we didn't finish the second trip, but 102k, zero coals. Since Shamans is pretty busy with PKs, I'm going to mine some coal in the wilderness. I missed the level, but I'm now level 51 mining and a total level of 1325. And this means my hardcore Iron Man is ranked top 10,000 hardcore Iron Mans in the game. 52 mining, there it is. 79 magic, we can now do entangles, very nice. 48 smithing. I can't believe I didn't have the goldsmith gauntlets, but here I am. I just got the goldsmith gauntlets. 49, and there it is, 50 smithing. We can finally do the legendary quest, and now we can get ourselves the runite gloves. And there it is, Sir Amicverse has been freed. Yes, there it is, runite gloves. Beautiful. I'm still a noob, but that's beautiful. And for the final part for recipe for disaster, I need 70 cooking. And I ain't getting that anytime soon. Woo, 40 farming. It's time. I have slaved myself through many quests, many skills, 
but now I need to go back to barrels, get myself the Aram's rope top and bottom, full Varox, and Carol's top and Carol's crossbow. And this is the first barrel chest of the day. Nothing. Oh my god, I just disconnected. Oh my god. And here we go. <laughs> no! <laughs> Not another one! That's... That's me. But that's not me. There he is again. Here we go. Ah, no, no, no! Another duplicate which I cannot use. No. Oh, yes. That's an item for the dream list. I am very, very happy. Thank you very much. Before we continue on with this episode, I've noticed that 50% of you who are watching right now haven't subscribed yet, so if you're one of them, make sure to subscribe right now. Here we go, can we get lucky on chest number 300 and the last chest of the video? No, never lucky. And this is how the collection log is looking after 300 chests. We got 14 items, 12 of them are uniques. That's one item per 21 chests. And besides sparrows, there is actually another goal which I have been working towards in secret all this time. And that is 82 magic. And with 82 magic, I can cast eye splits, which makes an escape on this account 10 times easier. And the way I want to get 82 magic is by AFKing black dragons. They have a chance of dropping a draconic visage. And also I can use my chaos gauntlets, which increases my max hit with firebolt by 3. <gasps> There's 80 magic, and I missed it. I have now casually AFK'd black dragons for over 3 hours, no one, not a single person have found me, and sadly no visage. If you wonder what my XP per hour is, it's for the 1.6k magic experience per hour. Ah, first a rune kai shield and now a rune longsword. Oh, another one! I just got this tweet sent to me. Apparently Barrows is pretty active right now, so many people at Barrows today, this is like the third dude I've seen this hour. I have spent almost 3 hours here, and now we are 81 magic, 1 level to go. 52 prayer, we can now smite our opponents for an AGS. Alright, this is going to be the last black dragon we kill us, another 4 hours spent here. We're gonna go at the last level at Korask. Alright, I just moved to Korask, we start on 4 minutes and we have 244k cash. So I am casually keeping an eye on John, so he doesn't come and PK me. As you all probably know, I cannot imbue my crystal shield because I cannot access Nightmare Zone on a PvP world. However, if poll question number 3 passes, I don't even need to go to Nightmare Zone anymore. I'm not saying you should vote yes or no, but vote yes. And here it is, 82 magic we can now cast. I split, so we made a total of 631k from Korask. And if I'm completely honest, now that I have I split, I don't think I will be able to die on this account until I reached the stage of God Wars dungeon. Some of the best items in the game can be unlocked with Slayer, and my first task is Wyrms. This monster is so cool, it looks like something from Dragon Ball. Look at it! Look at it! It's so beautiful. There it is, my first Brimstone Key. We look at that, another Brimstone Key. And there it is, task has been completed. And we do have two Brimstone Keys, so good luck to me. Four Rune Full Helms, nice. 80k high ox and coals. And just to make a quick price check of how much we made from this slayer task, 515k. I just realized I need to do wilderness slayer for my rune pouch. If I get myself 24 emblems, I can simply buy a rune pouch from the bounty hunter store. First assignment, spiders, uh, very easy, very nice. There it is, 86 strength, and there it is, we got an emblem. Task completed. Next task. Black demons, ooh. Yeah, I'm not taking this fight. There it is, boys, another emblem. Task completed. 86 range. There it is. Task has been completed. Here we go, 86 scorpions, that's an easy one. There it is, another emblem. Task completed. Black demon task again, I'll do it. And there it is, boys, another emblem. Holy oh, shit, that's a rare drop. We got the rune 2H and an emblem on the same kill. Oh yes, another emblem. And there we go, task completed. 
And after that task we now have a total of 7 emblems, just 17 more to go. And before we end this episode, there's just one more thing I just have to do. This is the reason why I went to level 45 wilderness.